Welcome back, my pupils. This is Gene coming to you with Reloading from the Hot Pot. Today, we've got Sig Sauer doing it my way, P5. Mr. Postman and delivery guy was kind enough to leave a couple packages on my porch for me. So I'm going to share them with you today, what else I got. For me. I also did another upgrade to it that I'm going to share with you during this video. All right, we're going to get the uh, Bubba Blade out here. We're going to open this one up. See what we got inside of here. Cut through part of my invoice. <laughs> you don't need to see the invoice. But what I did get, a set of recoil spring color code for spring calibration. Hmm, this is going to be interesting. I got the middle, middle of the road package from 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 pound springs, each one color coded. I have another set of these that I have used on a couple 1911 and 2011 that I have, and I've been very happy with the quality of them. So I went ahead and ordered another set from the same company. Very, very good stuff. In this package, oh, we got that little tear apart thing there. Uh, last time we tried that, it didn't work out too well. So we're just going to use the blade on it. Kind of afraid of cutting my mat, I'll tell you that. Man, cutting right through everything. What have we got in here? Kind of tight getting them out. Oh, that's my order number. We got a couple parts. I got one. I got a new striker spring for my P320 AXG. Uh, it has been shot out. I have no clue how many rounds I have through it. <clears throat> After shooting it for uh, almost two and a half years in USPSA plus everything else, I don't know. I really don't. I mean, you go through two to 250 rounds on, on a shooting weekend. You know, um, so many weekends, shoot two to three matches a month, plus a little bit of IDPA, uh, do the math, I don't want to. But my striker spring is starting to wear out because I am getting some light primer strikes on some ammunition that I do not get them on other items. So a striker spring is a great thing to replace before it's too late, like I am. Next, we picked up a full-size tungsten guide rod. Now, this thing is heavy. It weighs almost three ounces. So, I, de I decided to go with this um, because I was going to put a light on it for some extra weight out front for recoil mitigation. And then I, I was researching and researching around, and I learned that this tungsten guide rod actually weighs about the same as most weapons lights do. So, I went ahead and picked this up. That way, I can just use a standard holster and have a standard pistol without a weapons light because this is not going to be a home defense pistol or anything. This is going to be for range planking and maybe taking to a couple of events and shooting some carry optics with it. All right, let's get the piece out. I did put a Sig Sauer Romeo 1 Pro red dot optic on it. 3, um, three MOA dot. I really like these, these Sig Sauer Romeo 1 Pros. I've got one on my AXG. I've got one on my Spectra Comp. I've got another one on a different pistol I've got. And now I've got one on here. Very happy with them. I am looking for the, the Romeo 3X, the, the, the pro version of it. But finding that thing is like, man, trying to find a needle in a haystack. They're out of stock everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. But we're going to show this is clear. It's still brand new, unfired, because I'm doing all this stuff to it. And then I'm going to take it out and see how it works. There, I remove the slide from it. You know, this is just basic field stripping. You know, uh, you would do this for general cleaning and maintenance. We're going to take the old guide rod out, but I am going to weigh this old guide rod just to see the difference. There, I've got the scales on and set the ounces, tear it off. Let's see what this weighs. This weighs 1.8 six five with the spring now we're going to put the tungsten on here see what it weighs keep it from rolling off there it says over the limit <laughs> i already knew this weighs about three ounces and this weighs 1.18 ounces so we're more than doubling you know, the weight with just the, the guide rod itself the spring 
it really doesn't weigh enough to come in the factor. I mean, it's going to be a, it's going to be a few points, but we're going to say this is right around, right around three ounces to the front end with the spring. I also got this for a really, really good price from the SIG guy. He's got a YouTube channel on here. Check him out. Now, spring selection is going to, I'm going to do it like this. I've got an 11 pound spring in my AXG Pro that has a super skeletonized slide from the factory, from SIG. It is holy. <laughs> it was probably made on a, on a Sunday because it is so holy. But this one is more of a solid slide. There's no uh, lightning cuts in it at all, only some, serrat only some serrations. And uh, so I'm going to guess that this is going to need something a little bit heavier to get it back again. So I'm probably going to start off with the 12 and we'll put the 12 in it and then we'll finally take this thing out and shoot it. <laughs> Maybe I might have something else coming in for it too. I think I'm going to wait until that something else comes in for it too. Uh, yeah, I'm going to wait until I take it out and shoot there, but I'm going to go ahead and put the 12 in there because I'm, I'm figuring it's probably going to be between the 12 and 13 pound spring in the end product, but I am going to take it to the range and I'm going to video it and slow-mo it and watch the reaction of the slide under super slow-mo just to be sure I've got it tuned correctly. And I'm super happy I ordered the right one. <laughs> no, I didn't have any doubts. But that looks kind of nice there with that, that uh, nice shine out there on the end of that polished tungsten guide rod. And that really does add a lot of weight to that. It really does. I should have weighed this thing completely stock before I did anything to it, before I did the Wilson and just seen the, the differences in the weight. But I can always look up stock P320 and see what that weighs. The guide rod itself is going to go back in the package. As always, I keep all stock perks. You just never know. You may want to build something, you know, and you may need some extra parts to do something with. But we got that in there. We're going to reassemble this now. already way easier to pull back way easier to pull back i took a lot of it off there i believe that stock one i think i read that was a 16 pound 15 or 16 pound spring i have to look that back up again i'm not really worried about it but you know i but i definitely want to tune this and that is definitely a lot lot easier easier to rack back so the thing is will it go back in yeah it goes back in the battery doesn't hang up so that may be the one, but we will see under slow motion video. All right, my pupils, that was it for this one. This is number P5, the Sig Sauer doing it my way. All right, thank you very much for watching. It's only once around the ride, so always remember to keep blowing that smoke.